Hey guys, this is Drew Mario 1306. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot Warped. I am back from my hiatus after getting the new carpet in in pretty much my room and every other room in my house. So yeah, if you watch my update video, you know what it looks like now. Uh, last time we collected the relics in World 4, if I recall. And in this part, we're going to collect the rest of the relics here in this world. As you know, uh, if you saw like one of the earlier parts where I collected the crystal in this area, I actually got the relic in this level without intention. So we're so we don't need to get the relic in that level at all. We have Gone Tomorrow, Flaming Passion, Mad Bombers, which. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be easy or not. And we got Bug Light. Alright, first things first. Gone tomorrow. It's two minutes and five seconds per time. And I should not go... Uh, why did I do that again? Alright. Let me get rid of this enemy first. There. And now I missed the clock. Wow. I guess after a long break, I guess after a long break, you really experience fail. But what is it? Dang it. I don't remember. Wow. I am failing so bad right now. shoot him if he's facing you, I don't think. Or could you? I don't remember. I don't want to take a chance because I don't have the time. Whoa, look, a bunch of ones. If you try going for the exclamation marks, more likely the boxes will not end up as a time box, so it's not really worth it to go for the uh, exclamation boxes because the hidden boxes are not going to be time boxes like this one right here. I stepped on that somehow. So yeah. Oh, whatever. Oh my god, crash. Pick, step on the number two box. What is it? Oh, why? Okay, that's what happens if you run under him. Wait, that that, that just come out as an apple? What the heck? Wow. Never knew that could come out that way. And I just lost him again. Why in the world did I do that? Okay, after multiple failure, I'm back. this area now. As long as I... As long as I don't die, I should be good to go. Finally got the green gem now, but... That was a close one. But yeah. The green gem area does not take you to the end, if anything. Spoiler alert. Oh boy. I don't got much time. There's three ones. Okay, that level was a lot more difficult than I thought it was. But I got the relic. I was nine seconds early. 
So yeah, be careful when facing that level. So... Yeah, because of the lots of obstacles. So yeah, be aware of that. Alright, we already did level 22. And now we gotta get the relic in level 23, Flaming Passion. Alright, we got this level now. Yeah. I'd say the relics are even more difficult to get now that the levels are well well this is world 5 the second hardest level sets of levels to get relics in uh, that was a close one You could uh, slide over, but be aware if the TNT blows up, you'll get blown up too. So, try not to take chances like that. I wonder if I'm close to the end yet. I'm already at a minute and three. Actually, I wonder what the, uh, oh, Min's ability, okay. That was a close one. Oh. I'm just wondering what the, uh, the time it limit is. Even if you're high over the flames, and I missed that crate, that could be costly. And I still got the relic. I didn't see what the I didn't see what the uh, time limit was to get the relic. So I wonder if I was just seconds away or not. Oh my God! I was 67 one hundredths of a second away from losing that. Wow. 143 was the limit and 142 was the time that I got. Wow. Can't believe I pulled that off without knowing. Okay, we got this level, Mad Bombers. Uh, last time I actually did this, it... It took me a few attempts to actually get the, the time, uh, the relic in this one. Mostly because of, uh, mostly because of, uh, these bombers shooting at me. Or, well, or these minions, rather. Yeah, this one's a lot harder, this one's a lot harder to get. If I mentioned it earlier, I might have told you that this was my least favorite relic. It might, yeah, I told, if I told you earlier that this, this was my least favorite relic to get, because I died so many times. Yeah, not fun at all. And I can see why, because... This is only the second airplane, and already 50 seconds have come off the clock. And I don't even know what the third airplane is supposed to be. Well, okay, there it is, right there, in front of us. Yeah, this is one of my least favorite. Actually, is this my least favorite level? It might be, unless there's a harder level in the, uh... There might be one level in, uh, the hidden world where...
start to get that relic too. Oh no! I was not aware of I was not aware of that actually. Now <sighs> So yeah, I'm gonna say that this is my least favorite level to get the relic. Oh boy. Go Yeah, this is what I don't this is what I don't like about this level. You also have to keep your health up. It's not just health, it's uh, time, the time limit too. That's going to be double trouble for those of you who haven't been familiar with this level. Alright, let's go after that plane. It's either this level or one level in World 6 that is my least favorite level to get the relic in. Or, should I say, or in other words, the hardest relic. I think this level is it, though. I'm down to 40% health. I need to get more. Alright, come on. Alright, 90%. We're good. Wait, there is one more over there, so yeah. This one seems closer, so I'll go for that. Alright, that's four down. This last one, and we're good to go. But not if I have 32% health. And 10 seconds left. Alright. We got it. 20406. So we beat it by 4 seconds. Alright. Second best time. Yeah. It wasn't that much fail. I think I only died once in that level. But of course, it was two long minutes. Wow, the gold wasn't that, uh... The gold wasn't that long either, uh... Yeah, only 155. I was short by a second last time I did this. Alright, bug light. This one should be... Well, I'm fine with this level. I don't, I don't find it as annoying as Mad Bombers, even though it's dark and even though it's a dark level. And the jumping on the snake threw me off. And. Avoid the crocodile that comes out of the pitfall. You could jump and spin in order to avoid it like this. I... Yes, I, I believe I hit that uh, crocodile when I... Or is that, a, or is that an iguana? Probably that's an igu iguana. That, that jumps out of the pit. But yeah. Even though this is, even though this level has obstacles, at least you're traveling fast. Because, because in a time trial, I don't think you should really worry about the uh, the bu uh, the bugs because you're going to be running along this level and. When you're running around, along this level, that means you gotta, uh, you can actually, uh, not worry about, uh, how much time is, there is left before the bug leaves. 
because this is a time trial after all, so... Yeah. And don't worry, if you get hit by something, it does not affect the, uh... the Firefly. At least it's not like the lights out, where... In, in Crash Bandicoot 1, where if you take a hit, Aku Aku will go dark. Alright, now that, that that level is over, I'm gonna call this a video. And that was a gold relic, I was not aware of that. But, okay. Alright, next time we will go into this world, hidden world right here. Time Travel Area 6, or World 6. We will get the relics in Ski Crazed, which is a Coco level. I don't know why Crash is on there. Area 51, I think this might be... The second hardest relic to get, maybe, maybe not, in my opinion, but I'm not sure. And level 30, Rings of Power. So, thanks for watching. This has been Drew Mario 1306, and I'll see you in the next part.